Hey everybody, it's Wilbit. Come on, relax, we're having a party. Welcome to Omicron Percy I-8. The sky is green, the water a deep, toxic purple, and the Emperor barely eats any humans at all. <laughs> it's gonna be... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay, so I thought we were going to be getting Bill Nye and Stephen Hawking this weekend, today, and clearly I was wrong. Although the timing was right, Friday at 3pm seems to be kind of where things are coming in going forward, um, so let's just try to keep that time frame in mind for now. So what we seem to have here is kind of a catch-up event. Not like ketchup, not, you know, tomatoes, but, you know, as in you guys are way behind where we thought you'd be, and now we're disappointed in you, children. Uh, let's go over this quick, because there's not a whole lot going on, but it's probably going to be relevant to a lot of your interests, it certainly is mine. Uh, Omicron Percy I-8 has had one new mission added to it, and... While it says the recommended level is three, you're gonna want to bring your biggest, baddest dudes into this. So check this map out. Ha ha ha! Oh baby! Uh, hypnotons are probably appealing for a lot of you guys. Uh, personally, I'm actually almost done unlocking the lots the game has available, but Nixon bucks! Oh, these sweet, sweet cash dollars are what we all need to bring our character levels up to par. And nobody's got all their characters maxed out yet. Uh, you're gonna want to bring a delivery boy who's at least level 22 if you actually want to have a hope of totally clearing this event. Uh, most probably Fry. And ideally, you're probably gonna want another three characters as well into their 20s as you can get them. If you're significantly lower, don't stress over it. Just pick up what you can and go back to unlocking story content, as that's what I think is actually the best use of everybody's time right now. And I wanted to point out this level 8 path a lot of people have been saying is artificially actually really hard. It looks like it should be the second easiest path in the game, but it's actually surprisingly hard hitting. We're not sure if that's a bug and something they're going to fix later, but right now the level 14 path actually seems to be easier than the 8 for some reason. Uh, if your crew is tough enough, you're going to pick up a bonus $11,600, not counting what you get from fights or quest completions, and it'll take about five runs to hit every path, so pace yourself. We've got all weekend, and this is it. Like, this is really it. There's no decorations, there's no exclusive characters, nothing else is going on. We've just kind of been given a break and some money to farm. The only extra thing to maybe look at are the sales of healing bundles. Uh, if you want health revive or fuel packs, they're 30% off. But personally, I find these the absolute worst value places to spend pizza in the entire game. Like, if you're feeling really extra hasty and you want to just plow through something, sure, go nuts, grab it. But I find that traditional leveling and just waiting for recharge times to be a way more satisfying way to play this game. But overall, I like this. We basically get a week off, which is pretty nice here and still kind of the beginning of the game. Uh, some of us have pushed through to the end rather quickly. Uh, I mean, personally, I'm already working on clearing out Leela as, like, the, the last things currently in the game. But I'm constantly hearing from either new people who just started playing the game, or users who are just more casual and are still having trouble with the beginning stages of the Central Park Zone. Which is where I'm going to completely abandon my previous topic because it's not actually interesting enough to spend a whole video on and stealthily go into my real topic. Futurama has a reverse difficulty curve problem. If you've watched many videos on game design before or, you know, played a game ever, you probably know what a difficulty curve is, at least in the abstract. Your beginning levels should be fast, really easy, fun, not really challenging, most of your tutorial goes in there. As you progress, the numbers get bigger, the challenge is more complex, but if you do it well enough, it's seamless. The game gets harder at just the right level to where players always feel just a little challenged. It's fun! You have fun overcoming incrementally increasing challenges! Yes! Woo! Futurama feels like they started out with this. You get Fry and the Professor almost instantly. 
Amy comes pretty quick, and then Bender and Scruffy take comparatively longer, but the pace still feels really strong through the entirety of the first district. You don't have to grind Mars that much, really. But then, once you finally get that out artifact, open the Central Park District, and start working on the moon, things really hit a brick wall. For starters, it's maybe not immediately clear where to spend your Hypnotons. There's a ton of space in the first district to potentially accidentally spend Hypnotons and waste them all on things you don't actually need for progression. At that point in the game, you really have to make a pointed effort to just beeline for Kith as quickly as you can. The amount of drops needed for him, Nightlife Amy, and eventually Earl, go from taking like a day or two to potentially taking a week or two as you get to that point in the game. It's a really sudden uptick. And what's weird about that is that after that brick wall, the rest of the content is all actually increasingly easy? Uh, Hermes is actually surprisingly easy. After going from days and days to grinding on Kiff and Earl, most people can unlock Hermes in about a single day for all of his items. Smitty is a little bit more difficult, but even then, I still managed to unlock him in the middle of the Takei event when I was supposed to really be concentrating on other things. And once you get to the red light district, you can actually work on Leg Mutant and Leela at the same time. It's like the last three zones actually get progressively easier than the one that came before it. When normally a difficulty curve should look like this. A smooth ramp that just slowly goes up, and sure, it eventually gets really grindy and difficult, but by the time you get there, you're invested in having fun. But instead, Futurama's current story curve looks kind of like this. Nice and good at the beginning, but then suddenly this huge slowdown of doom, and then a gradually easing back down to more reasonable levels. Part of this feels great. Once you unlock Earl, the game really opens up. Let me tell you, I've been having a blast unlocking everybody else and getting to actually do missions other than those first two on the moon. And if I ever have to fail to make a balloon animal again, it'll be too soon, moon man. Get over your depression. I know you've had some rough times, but you've got a job to do and children to entertain. Get over it. Make me a dog. Just make the dog. At least I still have my self-respect. <laughs> <laughs> so while I do appreciate an event that gives all of you newcomers and less insane players a chance to catch up to those of us who are a little more hardcore, I think a lot of this problem would go away with a little bit more thoughtful design. Personally, I hope they nerf the crap out of the Central Park requirements, particularly once a few more story districts are out. Uh, it'll make the game easier and more fun for new players so they don't quit the game once they hit that wall. Plus, when they get to catch up quickly, they're not going to feel artificially blocked out of future events. And that'll make it easier for more advanced characters to be included when the bigger, longer events start to come rolling in. I'd love to get exclusive costumes for Hermes, Leela, and Zoidberg eventually, rather than the multitudes we're already getting for Bender. But making content for those guys right now would be kind of foolhardy. You're excluding too much of your user base at this stage to make content for those characters. Giving us an event like this and a little bit of time off is great. Uh, I'm glad that we're getting it. But it's not as great as simply tuning up your design so that your players don't need it. Uh, for now though, grind away everybody! Get Kiff and Earl as quick as you can, because if they're willing to give us a break like this in the middle of the science event, I've got a feeling we're all gonna need it.